Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can set a loading indicator in your widgets. So right now I have an application that contains a simple data table with two rows and if you press a button it's going to load some more data and after a while it adds the new data. Now the issue here is when I press the button it feels like nothing happens because I see no visual indication that something is happening and so what I want to do is I want to set the data table to its loading state so that the user sees that there's something happening in the background. So let me show you the code. The application looks like this. There's an app here. It has the wrong name for some reason. Data table loading app. Apologies for that. And now what I'm doing is I yield a data table in the button. And when I mount the app, I add the first two rows to the data table. And then when the button is pressed, I'm going to load some more data. And in here, the only thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm pretending it takes three seconds to load the data. And when I'm done, I just add a, a bunch, a couple more rows. That's it. So, so, so that the example is simple. And I just pretend it takes three seconds. Now what I'll do is when I start to load, I'll query the data table and I will set its loading attribute to true. Because if I do so, then I will get a loading indicator when I start to load the data. Notice how the data table was replaced by a loading indicator. Now the only thing I need to do is after we're done loading, because more than three seconds have elapsed, I need to set loading back to false so that we restore the original state. So after we're done, I'm going to query the data. No, it's already there. I'm going to take the loading attribute and set it to false. Probably before showing or after. After showing, after adding the two. So when I press load more, we see the loading indicator. And when we're done, the loading, the loading indicator goes away. Sorry. Now, one thing you may want to know is that this loading attribute, it's not, it doesn't only work on data tables. It works on any widget. So it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But or in this particular example, there might be other examples in which or where it makes sense. But we can also set loading on the button, for example. So just to show you, it works on other widgets, right? So any widget has a loading attribute that you can change. This was it for this video. I just wanted to show you how the loading works. I will leave a link below for the documentation and also a link to join our Discord server if you have any questions or if you need help. And other than that, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.